Hey everybody, we're going to talk today about supplements as it pertains to pregnancy and prenatal care. One of my biggest pet peeves is when I get pregnant women in here whose OBs have told them just go to the store and buy whatever off of the shelf. I have to tell you, every time I get a patient in here who has been taking gummies, because they all want to take the gummies, first of all, gummies do not absorb very well. If you look at the label, many of them have artificial ingredients or synthetic uh, nutrients, if you want to call them even nutrients. One of the biggest ones is vitamin E, um, should be D-alpha tocopherol. But if you look at your supplement and it says D-L, that is a synthetic form. So not naturally de derived, which means it's not going to absorb very well. And there's all kinds of health detriments to having these synthetically derived um, nutrients for lack of a better term. The other thing though, is that the level of folic acid, and yes, I'm using the word folic acid. So most of these mainstream products have folic acid, which also is very poorly absorbed. And then they're not even putting, they're putting, you know, 400, 600 micrograms. I think the RDA is like um, 400 micrograms. However, you actually are looking for folate and specifically in the form of methyl tetrahydrofolate. So MTHFR folate. And the reason that's so important is because more than 40% of Americans have this methyl tetrahydrofolate uh, reductase enzyme, it's a big mouthful, MTHFR genetic defect. And so you can have one from one parent, or you can have one from each parent. So if you have, so I have one copy from my parent where I don't process folate very well. So I'm only going to absorb about, as only having one copy, I'm going to absorb about 70% of what I eat, which is, you know, not horrible, but I still have to be very mindful of that. If you have both copies, so that would be homozygous. So one from each parent, then you gotta go back to biology class to remember that. So heterozygous, it comes from one parent, homozygous comes from both. And so if you have this copy, one from each parent homozygous of MTHFR, then you are only absorbing about 30% of your folate and your, and your folic acid, which of course is poorly absorbed anyway. So the, the forms that you're getting in these products are very, very important as well as the amount. So the concentration of them. Now, here's the thing. If you're just a general person, you're going out and you're buying these things. Okay, that's great. We're going to teach you. However, this is where I get really mad is that women are growing life. And I feel like doctors, OBs, they have a duty to make sure that, that these women have as much in their tank to give to that baby. And you cannot fill a tank with synthetic nutrients and poor quality. So look for on that label, you want to be looking for the, um, the folate in the form of uh, methyl tetrahydrofolate, and it should be at least a thousand micrograms or more. So I know that some of the products that I recommend, they're about 1600 micrograms. And then the other thing would be DHA. DHA is really important because between folate and the DHA, that actually helps the nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord to, um, to form first, which it forms within the first uh, couple of weeks of life. So it's literally the brain and the nervous system are the first things to form in utero, which is why it's so important to support that. Now, many women out there are, you know, they find out they're pregnant and then they go and they start taking a prenatal and then they'll go and they'll start taking a poor quality prenatal. I really want to encourage all women of all, um, childbearing age to be taking a solid prenatal. And here's why, because 80% of the U S is deficient nutritionally, and it can take six to nine months to bring the body up to sufficient levels. So think about that. If you are already deficient, which 80% of Americans are, and then you start taking a prenatal the day you're pregnant, you will never fill that tank. And that baby is going to take everything from you. So please, I want to encourage you to find a high quality supplement that has at least a thousand micrograms of methyl tetrahydrofolate, not just straight up folic acid, and at least a thousand micrograms um, or, or um, um, 
yeah, thousand milligrams of uh, DHA, which is an omega fat, which helps with the brain development. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please drop them below. And as always, please go ahead and like, and uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, because we're going to be bringing you more really important information to help you grow life and help you live the best life that you possibly can too. So thanks for watching.